mayors, we are asking that you please contact your state senator in the governor's office to ensure that an important piece of legislation, F2475 and A3971, also known as the car bill, are passed. We are hopeful that by working together, this grassroots effort will give local governments much needed financial tools during the COVID-19 pandemic and its aftermath. I'm Mike Serra, Assistant Executive Director of the New Jersey State League of Municipalities. Yesterday, the General Assembly approved A3971, which is sponsored by Assemblyman Dan Benson and Wayne D'Angelo, Assemblywoman Betty Lou DeCroach, and Speaker Craig Poplar. Our thanks to all the sponsors. A3971, the car bill, would authorize the issuance of coronavirus relief bonds by municipalities and counties. It permits municipalities to issue bonds for the loss of revenue and unanticipated expense directly attributable to the COVID-19 pandemic and its aftermath. Since mid-March, more than 1 million New Jersey residents have filed unemployment claims. This emergency has led to the shuttering of businesses, construction, courts, and schools. As a result, local governments have experienced a record decline in revenue. But there's more. There's also the uncertainty of property tax collection and state aid revenues and possible future commercial appeals. Unlike previous emergencies, COVID-19 is a major revenue loss event. In many cases, this loss will not be recaptured for several years, if ever. A one-size-fits-all approach is not the best approach. Local budgets are already lean due to significant service reductions made after the 2008 recession, Superstorm Sandy, and the 2% levy cap. Municipalities will need flexibility and options to address the long-term financial problems. Without legislation addressing the revenue shortfall, local governments throughout the state will be required to take extreme measures to gut local government and eliminate critical public services, such as cutbacks in senior and recreational programs, employee furloughs, and elimination of community events. Depleting surplus and, rev and reserves will have disastrous long-term financial consequences that will lead to higher property taxes and less services. Now we turn our attention to the State Senate with a companion, S2475, is sponsored by Senators Troy Singleton and Vin Kapal. We need your help to work with them to get this to the finish line. Please contact your State Senator and the Governor's Office and urge them to swiftly pass and sign S2475 and A3971. Mayors, here's what you can do to help this proposal become law. Contact your State Senator and ask them to join on as a co-sponsor of S2475. Pass a municipal resolution in support of the bill. Sample letters and resolutions are available on the League's webpage. A link will be provided in the comments section. Time is of the essence. Senate hearings are expected at the end of May, so we must act now. Stay healthy, everyone, and thank you.